my girlfriend told me about her crazy college days, and now I'm thinking I need to leave because of her special body count with homeless people. Posted by you slash silver underscore effective underscore 441. So, I've been dating my girlfriend for about 9 months. She recently turned 26, and we were celebrating her birthday. At the end of the night, we were both somewhat drunk and were talking about our craziest stories from college. She said that her boyfriend at the time and a group of friends, both guys and girls, would sometimes go out at night and mess with homeless people, including beating them up with bats. She also referred to them as junkies and used other dehumanizing terms, mentioning that it was great stress relief. She can get pretty crazy sometimes and has a bit of a mean streak, honestly, but it really shocked me when she said this. I thought she was joking because she was laughing while telling the story. However, as I acted skeptical, she kept affirming it was true. I just played along and kind of laughed, thinking she was just drunk. The next day, it still bothered me subconsciously, so I casually asked her about it again, and she confirmed it was true. What disturbed me was that there was no remorse. She told the story like a lol good times kind of story. I think if she were embarrassed about it, I would have felt differently. I still tried to ignore it over the next few days, but I obviously wasn't able to because, I ended up researching online for information about similar crimes in that city at that time, but I didn't find anything. Unfortunately, I definitely believe her at this point. She never makes these kinds of elaborate jokes over days, and I can tell she's being truthful, just knowing her. Anyway, like I said, it continued to bother me, so I brought it up one more time a couple of days later. This time, I was more serious, basically just straight up asking how she could not feel bad about that. I was honestly just curious. She got kind of pissed this time. She asked me if it turns me on and if that's why I keep bothering her about it. I said no, but I just couldn't imagine doing something like that myself, so that's why I was asking. Then she started saying things like, why are you judging me about stuff that happened years ago, and, it's none of your business who I slept with back then or anything else about my life. That's when it occurred to me that she might have thought I was jealous or something about her ex, since he was apparently one of the guys in that group. She might think I'm trying to guilt trip her out of jealousy related to him, which I'm not. But anyway, that was how it ended, and I'm obviously not going to bring it up again. Even though I honestly considered breaking up over this, I kind of saw where she was coming from in that it was a long time ago. Maybe I'm being kind of a jerk for judging her over this. What do you think? I'm no saint at all, but I can't help that it bothers me. I can't look at her the same way now, and I really think it might be over. Thanks for your advice. Commenter. You're just considering breaking up with her? You kind of see where she is coming from? You're also no saint? What the f op, like damn bro, you're a piece of crap and a monster too. Update 1 one week later. I just wanted to let everyone know that I broke up with my girlfriend. I absolutely do not condone any violence against unhoused people. That's the reason I asked about it because it seriously shocked me, but then everyone turned it on me and acted like I was condoning it. I'm sorry, but it just takes a lot of time to process when you're in a relationship with someone. You can't just end it like that. Plus, I try to be really mindful of things like shaming women for past mistakes and relationships. The last thing I want to be is one of those guys. And when she accused me of that herself, I started believing I might be wrong. But anyway, when I told her we were going to have to break up because of what she told me, she actually looked shocked. I think she believed I was joking at first. But I straight up told her how wrong she was for doing that, which I hadn't had the courage to do before. I said how she could have even unalived one of those guys and not known it, etc. She didn't have much to say, just looked really angry, honestly. But once I showed I was serious, she started guilt tripping me about how I was trying to shame her for her past, making the same point she had made before. In the end, she started insulting me really harshly and eventually turned it around on me, acting like she was breaking up with me instead. However she wants to think of it as fine with me. Some of the things she said were really hurtful, if I'm being honest, but I know she was just angry, and I have to keep reminding myself that I did the right thing. As for reporting the crimes like some people suggested, I did try, but I had trouble talking to a person at that police department over the phone, it's across the country from where I am. The phone recording tells me to file reports online. The online form asks if I know who did the crime, and when I check yes, it tells me I have to file the report on the phone or in person. Anyway, I'm still working on that, but it seems like there's a lot of bureaucracy to go through. Sorry for not responding to a lot of you before, but I was really overwhelmed. Even though this isn't my main account, I want people to know I did the right thing. Take care.